So today, we have such an exciting episode. We're making what I consider to be one of the greatest salads that hail from Spain, but more specifically, from the beautiful region of Madrid. We're talking una ensalada de San Isidro. Now, this is not your typical everyday salad. This is a salad that has some serious history to it, as it's named after the patron saint of Madrid, San Isidro, which is celebrated every 15th of May, which happens to be just yesterday. And let me tell you, this salad has so many incredible flavors to it. It's made with the most basic pantry staples, and it's very easy to put together. You know, folks, you can serve this salad as a side dish next to some grilled fish, but it's also perfect as a main course next to a crunchy baguette. Either way, this is what classic Spanish food is all about. Let's begin by making the homemade dressing first. That way the flavors can develop while we're getting the rest of the ingredients ready. I'm going to add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil into a small bowl, which is 30 milliliters. Along with half a tablespoon of sherry vinegar, which is 8 milliliters. Finely grate in one clove of garlic. If you don't have a grater, you can just finely mince the garlic. And one tablespoon of finely chopped fresh parsley, which is four grams. You can substitute this for half the amount of dried parsley. Then we'll season with a kiss of sea salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it a quick whisk. That way all the ingredients can come together. This just takes about 15 seconds and then set the dressing aside. That way all the flavors can develop. For the next step, I'm going to start removing the leaves from a head of romaine lettuce and stacking them together. Now to make this recipe, you can use whatever type of lettuce that you like. I just prefer to use the romaine lettuce as it gives the salad a beautiful light crispy texture. Then I'm going to tightly roll the leaves together, cut it right down the middle, and then into one inch pieces, which is about two and a half centimeters. Then we'll transfer the chopped up lettuce into a strainer and give it a quick rinse under some cold running water. Then we'll add in the strainer into a salad spinner and spin the lettuce completely dry. If you don't have a salad spinner, no big deal. Just transfer the lettuce into a dishcloth and pat it completely dry. And then we'll transfer the clean lettuce into a serving dish. For the next ingredient, I'm going to grab half of a red onion. As you know, I always like to remove between one to two of the outer layers, as those outer layers are not as firm as the inside ones, making it so much easier to cut the onion and giving it a better overall texture. And we'll thinly slice the onion. And before I add the sliced onion over the lettuce, I like to mix it around. That way all the layers can be separated from each other, making it so much easier to spread that onion over the lettuce. Then I'm going to thinly slice 8 cherry tomatoes. These have already been washed and patted dry. Of course, to make this salad, you can also use regular tomatoes. And we'll evenly spread the cherry tomatoes over the lettuce and onion. Then I'm going to grab a can of Spanish tuna in olive oil. The size of this can is 114 grams, which is about 4 ounces. Drain the tuna into a sieve with a bowl underneath. Of course, to make this recipe, you can also use tuna and water. And we'll give the tuna a quick mix to remove any of the excess oil, but you don't want to overmix it, otherwise it can easily dry up. And we'll add the drained tuna into the salad. Then we'll add in a handful of pimento stuffed green olives, making sure they're evenly spread out. And a handful of black pitted olives, and once again, make sure they're evenly spread out. And for the final ingredient, we're going to cut two hard boiled eggs, each one in half vertically. Now to make the hard boiled eggs, I just added them into a saucepan, filled it with some cold water to about an inch above the eggs, which is two and a half centimeters, and then heated it with a high heat. Once that water came to a boil, I placed the lid on the saucepan, turned off the heat, and let the eggs sit there between 11 to 12 minutes to end up with perfectly hard boiled eggs. And we'll add the hard boiled eggs over the salad. Then we'll season the salad with some sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. 
and we'll top it off with our sherry homemade vinaigrette. Check it out, our Spanish salad from Madrid is done. Once again, this is known here in Spain as una ensalada de San Isidro. Super easy to make, truly the most beautiful presentation ever, and it came together in about 15 minutes. But the best part, it's made with the most basic pantry staples. Let's give this a try and see how it turned out. Now this is what I call one heck of a good looking salad. This I can't wait to try. Got a little bit of everything. Here we go. Wow. You know, I've eaten this salad so many times. And every time it surprises me at how good it is. And like I told you at the beginning, this is what classic Spanish food is all about. Simple ingredients, no tricky techniques. He gets such a beautiful explosion of flavors. And let me tell you, that sherry vinaigrette really takes it to the next level. Folks, make this at home. Uh, serve it as a side dish next to some grilled fish, or even as a main course next to a crunchy bag. Either way, the flavors are going to completely blow you away. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Catherine Clark, Jean, Maybeth Robles, William Judd, Patricia Salem, and Manuel J. Rosales. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Train on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. Leave me a comment below and share this video with your family and friends. That way, our Spain on a Fork community can continue to grow. Till the next time, hasta luego.